So till now we have provided the content related to the important questions of this subject that is biology for EC, EC engineers. Okay. And also we have discussed uh, some of the important key concepts related to model paper one of this subject. Okay. It is available in our channel. So if you have not seen that, you can visit this. Okay. Then now we are providing you to you all some of the important questions related to model paper two. Okay. Which we have uh, uh, found the solutions to you all. So please stay tuned to this video and uh, try to watch till end. Also, this PDF which I'm showing it to you all, it is available in our description. Okay, so please visit our description and download this uh, PDF so that you can uh, see it as a reference. Okay, and seeing this PDF, I'm going to try analyze some of the questions here, and I, I, I'm going to tell you all about how to execute uh, these kind of questions. Okay, so please stay tuned and watch this video. So one first question is one A, that is a structure and function of cell with a neat diagram. Again, it's a uh, multiple times repeated. So I suggest you all to please. Uh, Note this question down and study this question about structure and function part of cell. A typical cell has three main parts, cell membrane, cytoplasm, nucleus, okay. Then cell diagram, okay. Then functions of cell, it consists of uh, functions are energy production, protein synthesis, waste removal, reproduction, growth and development, okay. In summary, we can give a brief summary also. So next question is discuss the functions of proteins in brief, okay. So some of the functions of proteins that is structural support, enzyme support, transportation, Okay, hormone changes, antibodies, storage, etc. Okay. Next question is apply your knowledge of lipids and outline the process of obtaining biodiesel from lipids. Again, this is very important question. Okay, I suggest you all to please learn this question as a very, very important question because this question would be fixed task. That is, obtain the process of obtaining, outline the process of obtaining biodiesel from lipids. Okay, for that we should be writing first the difference between biodiesel and lipids. What and all are the process taken and some one main process is related to transesterification, okay? And what, what this transesterification does, uh, the uh, steps for the uh, purification part and blending part, it's mentioned here and this equation that is the chemical reaction that would be taking between the biodiesel and the lipids, you should be writing it, okay? What and all are the components present, alcohol, glycerol, trig triglyceride, etc., okay? So one more question is detail, explain the detailed properties and functions of nucleic acids, okay? Nucleic acids, properties and functions, that is monomers, nitrogenous bases, base pairing, double helix, then functions of nucleic acids, that is gen gen genetic information storage, protein synthesis, gene expression, replication, etc. Okay. So, yeah, uh, 3A, and all of it's, uh, I'm going to just analyze some of the important questions, okay. So the, this is one more important question that is related to design the use of meat analogous and plant protein as food. Okay, it's mentioned here. You can note it down. Yeah, this is very important question. Okay, 4A, illustrate the proper uh, properties and engineering applications of PLA, that is polylactic acid. Okay, one question related to polylactic acid would be fixed task. Okay, properties and engineering application. Properties of polylactic acids are, they are biodegradable in nature. Okay, under specific... Uh, Conditions, the decomposition would be helped by taking place due to this biodegradability. Uh, then a renewable source, biocompatible in nature, strong and durable, low melting point, uh, good barrier properties. So next is the engineering applications of PLA. That's uh, the, some of the engineering applications are packaging, medical devices, 3D printing. Yeah, this 3D printing is uh, mostly common for uh, all of the engineering applications. Okay. Whatever the engineering applications for any uh, component, this 3D printing is common. Then textile applications and automotive components. Okay. So, uh, this, is, uh, this is again very important question. That is the key, key properties and advantages and limitations of cellulose based water filters. Okay. The porous structure, absorbent, natural material. Okay. Cellulose is a natural material which we'll be using we'll be in, in case of cellulose based water filters. Low in cost and advantages are it removes the contaminant parts, okay, that would be from water and uh, dirt and some bacteria, the contamination part would be removed. Then uh, easy to use, environment friendly, cost effective, okay. Some of the limitations are limited filtration capacity, may not remove all contaminants, prone to clogging, may not be uh, suitable for all, for all water sources. That is, uh, it won't be suitable for all water sources because some of the, we would be having some different kind of water sources and it, all the water sources would be having some of the different set of functions, okay. So this cellulose based water filters would not be compatible for all of the water sources, okay. So yeah, so one more important question is related to brain as a CPU system, okay. So this is again multiple times repeated, the input and output side of the breakdown of this uh, brain function as a CPU system, okay. You should be writing it in a neat manner. Point wise, okay. 
So one question related to illustrate the HBOCs and PFCs. HBOC stands for hemoglobin, hemoglobin based uh, oxygen carriers and PFC stands for uh, perifluoric uh, oxygen uh, carriers. So you can note it down the difference between HBOC and PFCs. Okay, all of its advantages and points. Okay. So one question is uh, describe the materials uh, used in engineering applications of Velcro technology. Okay, the Velcro part. Velcro technology materials used are hook side, loop side. Then engineering applications of Velcro that is clothing and footwear, medical equipment, electronic part, automotive industry and industrial applications. Velcro is a volatile fastening system that offers several advantages including ease of use, durability, re reusability. Yeah, the reusing part of Velcro is a must. Okay, so that's why Velcro is very important. So that's why people prefer the Velcro items more than the zip items because it is an uh, easy of use. Okay. And durability is also very long. So, if for example, you can see the velcros in the umbrellas, Miko. So that would be very important. So the difference, the different type of echolocation one is biological and technological, and its uh, points it's mentioned here. The differences between their features, that is organism, sound wave, application part, significance, and export to sheets. In conclusion, you can mention it. And this is again important question. They to explain the following, they would be mentioning. In separate to explain the sonar part and photovoltaic cell part okay sonar how the sonar energy would be working it produces sound uh, emission the eco reception and the eco which would be producing by the sonar it, it would be uh, in the water as well as in sonar devices the echoes echoes are produced okay then analysis part application of sonar navigation fisheries oceanography military etc okay then the photovoltaic cells how it works and its applications also you should be writing okay so that's all rest of all the other answers it's available in this pdf only and this pdf is available in the description okay so please visit our description and uh, this pdf you can download it and refer it as one reference you can keep it for learning and already i've told it multiple times how to execute the answers for tomorrow's paper okay should not be panic at all because this is a two credit subject you should not be taking this subject seriously okay you can take this as a side subject since it is only a two credit subject, you should have a goal of taking minimum marks, not to score more marks, okay? Because this is of no use, okay? Just in order to increase the subjects for uh, this particular sense, they have just kept it, okay? But in order, to, if you want to score marks, whatever, whatever I tell, right, that is for seeing the question, what is related to that question, try to write the answers as much as possible in point wise, okay? For example, if a uh, particular question carries this many marks weightage you should be trying to write more than that for example if one question carries eight marks okay try to write minimum of 10 points which you know okay and try to highlight some of the key points which, whichever you have written in that point okay so that the evaluator would be thinking that you people you people would be knowing something and they would be giving you the marks blindly okay so that's why please try to write the paper in as neat as possible in a uh, presentable way okay so again, try to fill the quantity of the paper also should be uh, lengthy. For example, you cannot write half page for 8 or 10 marks. Okay. Mm -hmm. For example, if they, for a, you know, a particular question, if they ask for 8 or 10 marks, try to write at least one and a half page for that. Okay. Yeah. So that's all from my side. I've tried to provide you some of the important stuff for this uh, tomorrow's exam. That is biology for easy engineers. Okay. The subject code is BBOK407. Some of the important materials and also the two model papers we have discussed. Those who have not seen the model paper one, they can see it. Okay. So that's all I've provided from my side. So please uh, support us guys. That's all. Thank you. All the best for the exams guys. Okay. Thank you all.